In this video, I show you how to make reaction roles on Discord. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser and I'm gonna use Google Chrome and then go to a search engine just like Google. And you need to go and search for a Discord bot called CarlBot. So you spell that C-A-R-L, B O T just like so and make sure you go to your official website which is carl.gg so wait for it to load and here we are and once it's loaded what we need to do is go and connect it to our discord and go and invite it so go and tap on login with discord just like so and then what you need to do is press authorize and then we can go and choose the server of which you want to go and create the reaction roles in um, which I want to be this tutorial server so I'll tap here and then what we can do is go and invite it so I'm then gonna go and press continue. You need to make sure all of these are ticked and then we can go and tap authorize and then we need to do this capture and then it's gonna go and join our server. So I've had this pop up here and let's go back to Discord and as you can see, Carlbot has now joined. Now the next thing we need to do is go and create the base roles inside of Discord. So to do that, you need to go to the top left of Discord and go and tap on your server name and then you need to go to your server settings which is just the gear icon there. Then go and tap on roles and now we need to go and create some roles. So I'm gonna go and tap on create role just like so and we need to name this. So for this one, I'm gonna go and do like different types of characters, but you could use colors, you can do um, like emotion, it's all, you can literally do anything. So let's go and start with clown, for example. So I'm gonna go and name this clown. I'll make the color a red. And then I'm gonna go and tap save changes. I'm gonna go and make another by tapping on this create roll button again. And then for this one, I'll name it cowboy, just like so, and go and select the color, and then go and press save changes, just like so. And I'll start with just these two for now. Now we can come and close off of here. We've gone and added the roles. Of course, you can go and add as many as you'd like though. Then what you need to do is come to any text channel. And once you're in a text channel, then all you need to do is type in question mark and type in reaction roll and then do space and type in make and hit enter. Then you'll go and get a response from Carlbot saying, hello, which channel would you like the message to be in? And then you need to go and type in the name of the channel. So I'm just gonna do this in the general channel. So I'll hit general, hit enter just like so. And then you're gonna go and get another response from Carlbot. As you can see, we need to go and set a title and a description. So for this, I'm just gonna go and type in um, roles. And then I'm going to do that straight line just like so. And I'm going to go and add this role. So we're just going to copy and paste this in just like that and hit enter. And then we can go and add a color to this message as well. Or you can just keep it blank. But if you want to add a color, tap here. Then you can go and choose a color. So I'll go in for a green and go and copy the hex, which is this one up here. Then come back to Discord and go and paste it in just like so. And there we go. So now what we need to do is go and add the emoji and the name of the role. So of course, we created the two roles, which is clown and cowboy. So I'm going to go and add the clown emoji. So I'll just type in clown like so. And then what you need to do is go and type in the name of the role. So I'm gonna go and type in clown, just like so. Hit enter, just like that. And then once it's been successfully added, you'll get this green um, reaction from Carlbot. And for the next one, I'm gonna add the cowboy one, just like so. And then I'll add a space and type in cowboy. And then go and hit enter, and then we're gonna go and get that reaction. And once you're happy with the ones you've added, you can then just go and type in done. As you can see, when you're done, type done. And then it's gonna go and finish it up. And there we go. As you can see, we've successfully gone and done it. And then when I go and tap on clown, as you can see, I've now gone and got the clown role. I'll go and tap on my name. As you can see, I've gone and got the role for clown. And if I want to go and remove it, I'll tap it again. And if I wanna be a cowboy, I tap on cowboy and I'm gonna be added as a cowboy. It's honestly that easy guys, cowboy. And of course you can go and do this for others as well. And now this is going to go and appear when other people go and join the server.